as far as finance and funding, the whole key here on the artist development is thinking about how you're going to fund it. How are you going to maximize your income sources and how are you going to make it so that your finances, so you can get to the point of, you know, financing your product development, going and gigging and recording and merchandising and licensing and those kind of things. How are you going to do it? So you got to look at your sources, your funding sources. Where are they coming from? I'm assuming that for some of you, and maybe most of you, but at least some of you, the funding is coming from you. And you have a day job and uh, you use the funds that you have extra left over from your day job after your living expenses to help you put gasoline in the car to go to a gig, for example, or to buy new strings for uh, an instrument or to um, set up a recording session uh, if you need uh, new gear for that or to hire session players or just to turn on the lights in your studio. So I'm assuming that that's where most of you, if not some of you, are getting your funds. Uh, as I'd mentioned to you before, uh, success is in your own eyes, but in mine, it's when you can stop flipping burgers, and that's what I'm calling your day gig, uh, in order to put your time and effort into making money with the art of music. So there's various ways you can look at your sources, um, typically after yourself, uh, most of the source funding will come from maybe some of these projects that you'll be working on. But more importantly, probably when you start looking at big investments, it's going to come from friends and family first. And then per perhaps you're going to look into some other things like uh, grants or social funding through some of those networks that are out there. Eventually, you might want to get into some angel invest in investors and then some venture capital to help you get this funded. Because if you look at many, many major artists out there, there's some serious dollars behind them, whether it comes from the record label or their publisher, but somebody's got some major dollars into them. But it could be any major artist. Try and figure out where they came from at the beginning, uh, because maybe you can follow down the same kind of road. Um, but Please be aware there are many unscrupulous uh, individuals out there. Uh, there's things called the military entertainment complex. Uh, you may have heard of the military industrial complex. Well, this is geared toward entertainment. So these are just some things to think about when you're looking into your funding. But when you're looking at your plan, you have various things you're going to have to think about. Now, I have to tell you, this is the most difficult part of your artist development plan. The, most of this is coming up with ideas, but coming up with forecasted revenue or forecasted balance sheet or, um, you know, your risk management. These are things that are really going to take you some time and effort. And for many of these things, I'm assuming you're going to write in there that um, the plan is uh, dependent on many things, and you're going to get into it. What I would also put in here in your artist development plan is to say that there is a finance plan uh, as a separate document that's a part of your artist business plan, and that's where a lot of these will come from. So we all know that everything's project based. And the thing is to look at the long term career of, of the artist. Look at the success of your projects. Uh, we talked about projects at the beginning, recording, touring, selling merch, writing a song, etc. But each project should have their own finance plan. So let's say you're going to get in to cut a demo. OK, well, what's the finance plan of that demo? You're going to have session players, you're going to rent um, gear, you're going to have a studio, or you're going to have uh, an engineer, et cetera, et cetera. Thinking about the finances that go into your projects. Because how are you going to do this? So just remember, finance and funding. The plan to fund the artist is, and you can get into as many details as, as you want, but we're really looking at the finance and funding overview of what's going to happen here.